Beautiful, wonderful sister Nash. Thank you so very much for this presentation. And we know it's the first part of this of a three-part series, but we had a wealth of information, and I know that persons have learned a lot of things here. Even the, the, the twist on the eight laws of health, or, or you had put it, you know, it really helped to hope on things a little more. All right, so it was a very great presentation. Persons are have been blessed. I know they have been um, texting to say that they have been blessed with it. Um, uh, the, we have a few few minutes, um, a, a 10 minutes, Sister, Sister Nash, that we can ask some questions. Yes, yes. All right. Thank you so much for it. Um, any question you any of you would like to ask, Sister Nash? Yes, yes. I want to get the protocol. I, I, I was, <laughs> but, my battery was going. Uh, okay. I just got connected. All right. So the, the protocol, um, Sister Nash, how soon we can have you back? We, if we if can have you yeah by, by you, next week by by friday, friday evening and um yeah next week friday should be good too okay all right right so we'll do it on friday evening so one for for friday evening we'll do the protocol and the other friday evening we can do the hydrotherapy right? right 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 thank so, you yes you're welcome any anybody else Good evening. Um, could you say the ingredients for the immune booster that we could go on like using it in the meantime? Because even where I work now, I'm exposed to this virus. So I would like to know what I can do to help myself and help my co-workers or family. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, um... yeah. Could you put it back on the screen? I could get a shot of it. Oh, those, yeah, I can put, um, put things back on the screen, but, but this is just like the, the sanitizers. I, I don't think I, I shared anything more, but what I was going to do um, is... Sorry, I was looking for the immune booster. The immune booster. Um, I simply just okay so while your phone went out we talked about you know the foods different foods that we can have increase in vitamin A C E S um, and boosting with our vegetables or fruits yes but our vegetables too getting the sunlight the rest um, avoiding caffeine avoiding alcohol so those were the factors that we looked at um, in increasing um, mm -hmm. omega-3 in our fatty, uh, omega-3 fatty acids in the flaxseed, like two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. Um, walnuts is another good source. Um, eating coconut, the jelly in the coconut, um, it specifically has um, lauric acid. Uh, which is helpful in boosting and building your immune system. Um, avoid sugar, avoiding overeating. You know, so even if the food tastes so healthy and good, uh, let's be moderate in all things because that in itself is a factor that can lower your immune system. And uh, so those were the things we talked about the water that helps to move things around and carry your antibodies into the right places to help to fight for you. Um, and, and then we just looked at hygienic bits um, for the, the immune building itself. Um, I was about to just put our website on um, and uh, there we have a COVID-19 page. Um, in the COVID-19 page, there is an, a document that has the protocol and the name of it is what you have in your hand. What you have in your hand, it's utilizing items that you have in your kitchen. And uh, using that to um, put together the super flu bomb. Uh, if it is that you don't have an item, um, then you just skip it, but you take in everything else. Um, so, but it is one that we need to talk through. So I'll share, um, 
as a chat. Let me let me write it um, in the chat. But it is one that we really should discuss uh, because it, it varies depending on individuals who have uh, like gastritis, if they have high blood pressure, um, what are some of the things that they can take or not take if they're pregnant, what they can take or not take. Um, and, and that's what um, our next discussion will entail. So um, let me correct right. the slide. Um, right, I need, I need to mention, Sister Nash, um, it is important that persons learn this part to start applying because sometimes persons want to go to the protocol itself, but if you are not following the head laws of health, which is the main, these are the true remedies. So if you're not following the thing, remember what Sister Nash had said about him or her sister, she tell them, go get your sunlight, make sure you're drinking, or make sure you go to sleep. So that these are very crucial before anything else, because if persons are not following these and yet they get the protocol, for many of them, then it's not going to be of any benefit. And then the protocols might be there, but the precautions in usage might not be there. So I would suggest that um, we we practice what is being done here right now and then on Friday evening when we come to do the protocol at least we would have been way ahead of the game because we would have looked back at these things it is being recorded and nurse will will um, will post them so at least these things you'd have already started doing so that when the protocol comes around then it is only an addition and then you'd have heard the precautions so that for those who have their conditions, then um, you will not be affected. All right? Yeah. So let's work and, with and this. The thing is that, you know, because of time, we have, we had to cut um, the presentation and made it into three forever because of time. Um, yeah. You know, to sit down and listen to and a download of everything all at once, it can be overwhelming. Um, and mm -hmm. that's why we broke it up and we did the immune building first. Um, which is what what would help to protect you, um, and and everybody is so aware that if the immune system is well built, um, that's the best place to start. Yes, very much so. Um, we have three hands. We will take them in order. Let's see who we have. Um, um, Daily, Sister Daily first, and Sister July, then Brother Steele. Let's go. Good evening, my a relative, a relative of mine, her dad. Yeah. I don't know if she's listening, but her dad is very sick in the hospital with COVID. Mm -hmm. And I think they'll be sending him to a hospice because things not working out with his blood pressure and blood sugar. So I told her I would ask for prayer and I told her she said medically that's basically they can't do much but mm -hmm. I told her that we'll pray I'll ask the prayer group to pray so I don't know if what if, if you have any idea of what a auspice would do in a situation mm -hmm. like that nothing okay so so um that's the question right so where is it that's in jamaica no in the state all right so so basically it's not that they were going to be applying auspices are normally for persons who are out there in in stage you know so if it is that you want the the, the relatives want to apply the eight laws of health and the protocols that that will be will be used then then it would have been a good start instead of helplessly just allow the person to just lie there and die there are things that can be applied. All right. So yeah. based on what you are learning now, if you can pass this on, all right, to the to the person. Now it's summer, the sun is out, out there, the person needs sunlight. Look at the diet of the person. So you have the information now that you can pass on. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, Sister July. Oh, I guess the questions are answered because I see no hands anymore. All right. Was there any other question? Yes, go ahead. 
can be sent to uh, email. Hello. Those persons who posted their email emails, um, nurses taking uh, writing those. All right. Hello. So they can be sent. Yes. Hello. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. We're hearing you. Yes. Good evening. Happy Sabbath to you all. Yes. I this mic has gone blank for a while. I don't know if I missed. Um, what I was, would like to ask is, I don't have to ask you, suppose, suppose, suppose somebody who is like, diagnosed with uh, COVID-19, what natural remedies I can do to perhaps um, disease? Yes. Yeah. All right, Sister Nash. Yes. Um, well, that's actually what the next lecture is made up of um, that we will do next week, Friday. Um, but one of the things, um, you know, that, that they can use natural remedies, you find uh, the ginger, garlic, um, onion, turmeric, um, cayenne pepper, lemon getting that vitamin c in there the lemon those things can be put together and um, honey and uh, mm -hmm. put together and um, in some warm water so it's like two cups of water that's um very warm and you blend it um, and then you're ingesting it so we have the measurements and so forth um that we would go through and talk and it's not it, so it's that that works really well um, there are some other items too that we would look at, um, but if from the inception that they were to take that as a blend, um, a mixture and use. And why I would want to go through it is because individuals with gastritis would not be able to tolerate the cayenne pepper in there. Um, also, the ginger is in, but those with high blood pressure you know, we need to be mindful that it can elevate the blood pressure. So we need to know how to handle them. So the, the precautions are also listed um, as to how to protect those with the underlying situations and still gain the success. We've had um, numerous individuals within New York who were able to go and get retested yes. and show up negative. Yeah. Um, that that they no longer had the virus in them so um and, and this these are things that they use and yes we did have people with diabetes and did have people with high blood pressure in it but it was working along it, it wasn't it just like this is what to do we had like a whatsapp group with them and and we're checking in every day um and they were sharing their numbers and then if things got high the pressure got high then we suggested what to take if it you know it went up with somebody's pressure goes too low we have in the protocol what suggested for them to bring it back up so it really requires some explanation um mm -hmm. that you know the session next week would be valuable in doing so and 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 also if there's a person who, who is infected no one going through um because you can have mild infection and then you, you apply the laws of health. If there's anybody who is critically um, infected, uh, well, even mild also, and then you'd want some help, maybe we could have had a, a, a creator group, just as we did for those in New York, to help that person through this time. Yes, so All right. So, yes. right, we could do that. Okay, All right. Thank you very much. Yes, Sister July. Yes, I'm back. Happy Sabbath, all. Happy Sabbath, sis. As, as I listened, um, I am drawn to the, the, the doctor who was in ICU and the Seventh-day Adventist nurse who provided him with some sort of remedy that kicked back his immune system within a few days. I'm mm -hmm. on the front line. Um, I've been exposed every single day. Currently, I have co-workers who are in quarantine, so in isolation. 
this particular remedy that the nurse had given to the doctor, is it the same that you had made mention of just now with the turmeric, the garlic, the onion, the lemon, etc.? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. That's what I wanted to know. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. All right, thank you. Uh, is there any other? We are going to close off now, 846. All questions are answered. Uh, those who want to be a part of the group, if you are not in the original group, all right, the Zoom group that we have created for our, fr our Friday and Sabbath afternoon meetings, if you are not in that group, then um, please indicate and give your number so that nurse can add it to the group. Um, it would have been nice if you were available tomorrow evening, Sister Nash, but I know I'm putting you on the spot, so. Yeah, we actually have um, <laughs> the, um, training, yeah. the training program going on, so. Yeah, I know, I know. so we'll, yes, we'll have yes. it for next Friday evening. Yes. All right. Oh, well, I really want to thank you for such short notice that you were here with us and um, you know did such a fantastic job of bringing us up to speed and we are really looking forward please everybody have your little things ready so that next week when you come you can have the information and be ready to help others also because that was one of the most beautiful part um that Sanash was saying is that our medical missionaries they were on the front line they were in new york helping persons go in with the things to give persons and all of that they were there you understand so even for us if the second wave is going to be here it's going to be back so therefore it is very crucial that you will have to that you learn these things that you'll be trained in these things and that's why we do medical missionary training so that we can train persons into this area so that when such a time come upon us then you are prepared both for your family, for your friends, and for those who are in need, all right? So indicate your, your interest in the group, um, give your name and number so that nurse can, can um, put you in, in the Zoom group so that next Friday you can be here for the presentation, all right? And please invite others. You, we invite you, you are allowed to invite others, all right? Because a lot of time if they get the information first and then it will be, it will cement a little more. All right. So thank you all for being here, Sister Nash. It was wonderful. Thank you for, for accepting our invitation. And we look forward to seeing you on Friday evening at seven. God bless you. Thank you all. Um, let us pray as we close. Sister Nash, you can close off in prayer for us, please. Okay. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for our discussion that you have had us to look at this evening. We thank you for the information that you have provided. And we also thank you for the remedies that you have placed out in nature to build our immune system and to protect this body from the evils and the sickness and diseases that are around. May you so give us the strength to apply and the determination to come into harmony with all of your laws so that your name can be glorified. We pray for a good night rest so that we can be rejuvenated and be able to serve others and to share your love with them too. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you. God bless you, Bridget. See you tomorrow evening at four o'clock for those who are in the group. All right, Sister Nurse, see you next week, Friday. God bless you all. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye bye. Cancel the thing. Look, my thing's still on.
That's an autonomous. Hello?